Hello everybody, it's your girl Mocasso here in the Raw Network or in the Raw Showcase in Spatial where every Friday we come into this space and put on an awesome showcase and you can always check out this space anytime with the link I'll leave in the comments and check out this lineup where we're going to continue to have um, amazing content from content creators and these awesome workshops led by the amazing creators that are literally creating this space like look at us all wearing digital fashion and amazing designers like tanya are the ones creating this fashion and showing us how we can create this fashion as well so if you've been following along you know this is a three-part series that we've been doing and this is part three so if you can see there on the screen um this is learning clo 3d and so our first section our first episode from this series was actually showing how to make your pattern right on an avatar and then the second was actually adding the texture and today we'll talk be talking about rendering and anything of that nature to finalize your piece and what you can do with that and then we will have a question section so if you have any questions like i said you know follow us on twitter instagram we'll plug all those at the end but i will pass the mic over to tanya and let you take it from there thank you Okay, so today's going to be probably a little bit shorter, so we maybe can fill up with uh, more questions in the end. We're just going to be setting up some, some ideas that you can do for scenarios and finishing up your, your render image or your, to sell it as an NFT. Uh, but this is just one idea. Because when you get comfortable with Chloe, you will see that there's so many ways to do anything. This is just my way and just an example. So last time we were looking into some colorways. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to take one because it's it gets really heavy, the file. So when you have a lot of colorways, just, and you're going to work on on scenes and adding a lot of stuff inside just try to minimize it as much as it can so i'm just maybe i'll just keep one of these for example and save it so it's a bit lighter and we can start with some poses so Clo already has a default poses in the library uh, if you go to avatar, then enough you have to click on the on the avatar that you select from the first session. So ours is female version two. But this playfa you can see it here, and we're going to pose. This is uh, except this one here is mine. Uh, you have all these at bottom poses that is from Clo. And what happens is when you double click it will simulate it uh, with the clothes. So we can try one just to see. And then we're going to try to make one process ourselves. Uh, let's do like this one. Then you click OK, and it will simulate. If you have something in the background that you don't want to simulate, just freeze it first. You're going to see like when we are in the building scenario you're going to want to make those things freeze all the time right now we don't have anything so it's okay and what this is doing is going to take some time until transitions into pose and the fabric at the same time And it's finished. So you can see like everything good. But we're gonna want to make one ourselves so we can we can so you know how to do it. I'm just gonna go back this. I'm gonna unhide the avatar in the icon, avatar display, show avatar. And then we have 
uh, skeleton here. Your x-ray joints, is it called? And it's going to show you the skeleton. So if you don't have this one activated, I think by default it's not activated. So activate this one. And, and we're going to be alternating with these two. It's going to depend. You're going to have to play with it a little bit. Uh, I have kind of a reference image here. I'm going to try put it here so I can follow it. I think this one would be nice. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think so. <laughs> Oops. I took the screen. Okay. Okay, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so we're gonna follow this pose, kind of like levitating. And I like levitating poses. <laughs> so we can start by levitating the avatar on the ground. Sometimes you have to see which one is it, which is this one. Kind of like this. Kind of like this, good to start, and then we, we're just going to adjust it. And let's start with the arms. Okay, this is supposed to be symmetric, doing symmetrically, but sometimes I don't know why it doesn't. Klo has also his own personality. So, <laughs> don't mind it. Uh, uh, also, I forgot to say something. Uh, you can freeze your garment for this because we don't want to distort it somehow. We're going to just work on the pose first. And you can freeze by selecting everything and right click freeze. And then hide 3D pattern after, so it doesn't bother you here. So, so if you, here, if you want to, to work on the main, on the main bone per se, I don't know how to say it, but you have to find the, the ones that move the most of the part of the body that you want first. And I like this, this is the point that we want to move first and then we go on the little ones to make it detail, trying to make it symmetric, symmetric. And so here, it, the pose had the, the arms kind of up, the lower ones. So we can go. Then you have to work with your side view a lot because it, if you use the gizmo, it's okay, but then you also need to rotate to see what it looks like 
on the sides. This is all about angles. So something like this, and then we twist a little bit. Don't mind the body's gonna look really weird, but that's normal. <laughs> then you go just alternate between the bones. This one's a little bit more like this, like up. And then you'll have to do the same for the other one. One. I already have this pose well in my com in my PC, so then I'll go back to it. But I just want to show you first how you can do it. Okay, now we can we have one leg up. So this one is a little bit higher. Okay, so this one is not needs to be this one. case the other one okay thing like this and we want to see also down no. you have to be careful because it's when it's because it's so transparent select the other side by mistake uh, we want this one you always check from all angles to see if you're selecting the right one something like this a little bit more and you can always select the number two on your number pad to go back to the front view it's quicker to get back to it. We can move this one, the knees, and this one. Okay, first the foot. And this one. And let's try to do the same as much energy as you can. Some the gizmo sometimes doesn't work if you are in the front. For example, this one, the green gizmo is as it's facing the front is not gonna work well. So you need to go on the sides. And then this one, like this. And I believe the head was also up, looking up. And you can move it a little bit like this. Unfortunately, the legs goes up also. <laughs> okay, something more like this. Okay, so this can take quite some time until you have your own pose. This is one example how you can work with it. I'm just going to import my good pose that is already well. Uh, sorry, but imagine you you have your good pose already. You deselect the skeleton. It looks weird, but that's okay. Uh, you're going to want to save it as a pose. And this is the pose, it's kind of the library of your of Clo. So you can, if you want the pose to be right there, you can save it here or you can put your, your own file where you want it. Uh, I already have it, so I'm not gonna save it. And also, imagine that you don't 
want to save the pose, you just want to test it to see the garment. We can unhide it. Unfortunately, because uh, we, fro we froze it, so we can make the transition smoother. We You would have to go, like, put everything back again and then simulate it. So it will be, it will take some time. I'm like moving the pieces and trying to, you know, the simulation looks good. But there's a better way to do it. So because we have our pose paved, I'm gonna go back to the default one. You can also go here on history. And here you can go right back to everything. Something like this before. It's better than just control C all the time. And yeah. So now that we have our pose, I'm gonna you can also drag it. If you're having the folder, you don't have it, you don't want you don't have it here, easy access. So you can just drop, drag and drop. And okay. Hopefully it's doing levels. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it's not going to take so long. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wait a waiting, a waiting process. Yeah, because I'm like... What? Normally, if it's like, if it gets simulating, it should be working. Okay, because I'm like, I see you drag yeah, like, and drop, yeah, yeah. but there's nowhere saying like it's thinking or uploading, like. Yeah, <laughs> this is close. Okay. It doesn't tell you anything. Okay, so you just, you just wait. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to go here. So. Also, in the library, you can, in the plus button, you can always put your own folders here. I'm gonna try go here, see if it, if it helps. Chloe's <laughs> not very friendly yeah. today. Yes, it's like I'm still thinking about <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god, for real. Maybe we can do it the manual way. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait. No, he's doing it. Okay, perfect. I can normally it should simulate automatically, but it needed some help now. So you just if you press simulate, it will go there. And this this helps a lot more than just doing it like the manual way because you can get everything really messy. Oh, I see it moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a fun processing it. <laughs> okay, I think it's finished. So, the problem is, uh, uh, well, it's not a problem, I can fix it, but okay, I'm just gonna remove the shoes by moving easier. Uh, you can right click and delete your shoe. So, it's gonna always, because it was on the ground 
uh, right now it's, it's not a problem because we don't have any garments here but imagine that we had the whole body suit covering the whole body it would it would stop on the floor it would then go down so you want to select the avatar right click and move avatar and garments to the ground in case you have anything there just so you know okay I'm just gonna select everything and drink. Looks better. Yeah, it looks a bit twisted because of the arms. And try fitting. I'm gonna freeze, except the arms, so we can, doesn't look like the twisted bits here. Let's try with some, if you select the pieces, you go property editor, and maybe with some offset, the add thickness condition, it's the well offset. Um, is the distance between the body and the fabric? Cut a strap. Number is too much, but also because it's so tight, it will be easier if we enlarge it. Okay, you can do it here on the. Western board. So we would want to, to go. Let's try one twin B. I only did one. Okay, select everything, one bit again. So maybe this pose is not ideal for the <laughs> for the body too. Let's try the opposite one. Because there is uh west and north is the direction of the fabric. Sometimes if they don't know which direction you just need to try one or the other. Or both. In this case. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Like maybe if the flying parts were straight, it would be a little easier because then the parts wouldn't bunch up in the odd way. Yeah. Mm, it's not looking good. <laughs> well, I guess we also have to play with some with the angles. I guess. We need to because it's an example. If you have when you have time, you like basically have to look well on the pose that you want and see if it works. In this case, this doesn't work very well, but we can, we can improve it with some angles. And then when we put our scenarios also. Uh, I like to take the texture from the avatar just to make it lighter. <laughs> actually, I I would want to actually remove it. Uh, if you want to use the avatar for what you're editing, you may want to take the texture just so it's not so obvious. So we can delete out and. So click all the parts of the and go 
here on the property editor and we can just delete it also if you want to use the textures you if you open the library here you can see all the textures of of the body and people export it to photoshop and then edit to make some details also you can export it to substance painter so you, it's easier to work on like i don't know adding tattoos or something uh what i like to do is remove with everything and actually use use um, I believe it's gem material it kind of looks like the avatar is water and I like that I'm just gonna remove the eyes also because it looks weird just eyes okay let's go so as you can see I selected gem which is render only so you're gonna need to open your render to actually see and the glass is better let's stop and refresh it again Also because we don't have any background, it's, it's like it's not reflecting. So it also kind of depends on what what you have going on. Okay, I'm gonna select everything. Okay, try. Okay, this is the jump. Um, it is the boring part. Oh, the part 31. It's not like you like everything at once. Okay, maybe I like the gym better. <laughs> Maybe it's this too transparent. I'll just go back to jump. It may take some time if you're like alternating with the render going. Just try to stop it. it and then make your changes and then activate it again make it easier okay let's just try to add the scenario and see how it looks because right now it's a bit uncertain so one idea for scenarios i'm just gonna see this. you can play with the fabrics so everything in Chloe is basically fabrics unless you import stuff inside or you use the OBG that are already in it. So what um, good idea is just play with the fabrics. Actually this one is quite nice. You you can go here and choose spiral to create a pattern piece. Spiral and you can increase the size when you're working with large python it's also gonna take a really long time to load so be patient for this step okay and the more you add it's gonna get even heavier so we also need to think about what we actually want to to do first if your laptop is not too strong maybe you want 
to work in separate files was a good idea. So you can work on your scenario first and then import it. Of course, it's easier if you have your reference here. Sometimes you have to do those things so it workflow is easier. Okay, so I think I like. Uh, I like to like just put patterns somewhere and then just make it drop and see how it looks like. I'm just gonna put the default add the default fabric. So the default fabric it has more draping to it. You can change the physical pop like you see on the bottom. You can put silk or rib or anything. This will basically recreate the draping of each fabric. The default normally works well, but quite drapey. Okay, so when we simulate, it's gonna drop, so I'm just gonna freeze this so it's everything easier if you're happy with it. And make the draping more exciting. We can put some pins. So click W and you just select randomly what you want just to this gonna make the pin is gonna whatever it's pin it's gonna stay there. So when it when it starts simulation it's gonna gonna make the the movement more real. Something like this. It's part to simulate a little bit to see how it goes. See, once you have a good drapey going, you can select one and delete all pins and let it fall. Actually, I would like to have it bigger, to be honest. Not working like I was envisioning. So if you you see it, it gets all distorted. So you can just right click and reset to 3D arrangement, and we'll go back to the 2D arrangement. So kind of looks more like it. I'm just gonna try mixing through. Okay. Do the pins again. Just randomly. It's not. No need for any calculations. Okay, let's try again. Simulate. Okay, now we delete all of these. Also, this is in. 20 particles so right now it's already in a good uh, level so we can change it to 5 so it's more dynamic okay of course now it's higher so it's gonna take longer If you see it's going places that you don't want, maybe you can move it a little bit before it goes all down. I like this so it gets I think it's gonna take longer with this. So I'm just gonna import one here. 
So basically, you just want to go and play with it until you have it. It can take some time because it takes a lot of experimenting. Just so it's quick. There, I'll just import one I have here. Of course, save it first. <laughs> I'll just draw. If you have a, a file already, imagine if you're working on one separately, you can just drag and drop here, change to add. I already have avatar, so we just want the garment, which is the pattern piece. So I'm just gonna load that. Once you have a good drink thing, you can just start working with it. Gonna activate it. Maybe like this. Of course, it's gonna depend how you're gonna put your your end render view. If you want, or you can copy paste to put another one and dropping there. I think I will just put here. Okay. okay let's try the render. Just working blind here. <laughs> It's already had the, the material in, in here, but basically what I just did was just using the ear and its fabric. I really like this because it's really customizable. Uh, you can just change the color here, saturation, roughness, and actually easy to use. So, if you want to work on your views, you can go on display viewport, custom view. Now it's empty, but imagining you like this pose, this view, and in center as you like. If you like it, you just didn't have it here. So even if you just go play around and then you want to go back to it, just double click. And this is it. Okay, and also uh, here image the properties. You can work on your resolution. Uh, 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 normally, I put this resolution for Instagram posts. Of course, you if you want the square, just make it like this ratio. And um, but there's also the default ones there's like lower resolution if your laptop is not very good at rendering you just to visualize it you can put a lower one and here also okay you just need to, to try and see what you like you can change portrait to landscape and here you can actually add a background color or even a background texture um, and then you can also put transparency. For example, you can render a PNG and then go into the Photoshop and work on your background. It gives you more, more versatile, sorry, <laughs> more probabilities of doing something more interesting. What happens in Chrome is if you use a texture here, you may need to make sure that the the render uh, the sorry image is compatible with the, your render resolution. Otherwise, if it's like a if 
if your image has this resolution per se, it's gonna be like stretch out or gonna be looking really weird because it has have the same resolution. What you can do is use like a square in your background and this kind of makes it like a fake background. Uh, of course, this is gonna also work on your your angle. If you have an angle like this, you'll see it gets cropped off. Um, what's important not doing here in Cloud to not look too fake because there's no depth into it. You see, there's like there's a floor, and then you can put things too further away because otherwise you need a really huge file to cover it not like blender that has the, the depth so we need, also need to be smart about it i uh, can either add more things on the background with fabrics hanging and putting some image here and and then you can put just a simple background if you have a lot of going on so it's just be smart about it just try not to do like one image here and then one on the floor because it looks really fake it doesn't make doesn't make the image expand you know so basic maybe you can like, like make something around it something that involves involves the what your creation in it you know if we activate this, you can go here and import the texture that you have. I was just gonna, for example, with a print, a mocaso, just so uh, it's more visual. Let's put this one. Let's keep the glow. Okay, so you have your texture here. Basically, uh, if you like have a levity pose maybe you can you can do like a space theme so it, if you put like a night sky on the background you it, it's not gonna give you like the the 2d effect on the background so we need to really think about it also i i've done before like cushions on the background so it looks like a a room. If you enclose it, if you in, in how do I say the uh, put your your creation really in the center, like instead of putting one face here, one face down, you can put face on the right, on the left, and on the top. So it's a yeah, roll, but it doesn't look too obvious. Okay, so let's try and see if this works in this view. Okay, so now, because the pattern is so huge, it's taken a really long time and I think the stream is not helping. Sometimes what you can do also is render separately. So you have an option to do the PNG very easily on Google. You can render, for example, this fabric and, and uh, uh, the garment on one, one, on one page and then on to the Photoshop or just the one here with separately. So we can move it down as we can see there's a gap here. Okay, 
Maybe we can cover some questions and then we. And I was probably gonna cover the what's happening here. Yeah, yes, that's a great um, interjection and way to kind of wait for that to catch up while we ask questions. But this has been so great again. Um, I had a question and it's crazy. At first, I thought um, my question was from me not using like a mouse, I was just trying to use my keypad keypad to like use the pins the flattened pins but even when I use the black ones I cannot get it to turn into a yellow line I have not gotten past that point oh <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm doing I have at first, yeah. Um, maybe I could, better. yeah, maybe I could even share share my screen or something so you can see what I'm doing wrong or something. But I, you know, I click on the 3D pin. I go all around the neck and then down the back. Um, maybe I was using too little, but I was trying to be like a little mindful, knowing that like oh they'll be deleted later. But it would not turn into a yellow line for like anything. And I, I was getting confused between left and right. And like if you hit left, that's how you move your camera so that you can like actually look at what you're doing. And then right is how you add the pin. Um, but I can't figure out how to turn the line yellow. So like that it saves that line and then I go on to the next one. What, maybe we can share it easier. Yeah. So my, I think my render is bugging <laughs> the stream. Okay. So sometimes you can. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I don't think I don't think I can finish the render. So, so I'll start streaming. Here maybe I will publish on that. Discord like the final outcome. Yeah, let's do it. So you can stop streaming. Uh, that way your render can catch up and then we'll come back to it when it's done. And then, let me get my cloak open. But that looks so great. I love how you added the background and gave your tips for that as well. Yeah, it's very interactive when you get to know it. I mean, I know it's a bit frustrating in the beginning. Uh, and it took me some time also, so I don't know. But once you come to it, like you can see a lot of things you can you do. Know, you don't even need to go blender to publish your NFT. <laughs> and also you can use the most of your subscription because you're paying the software. So just try to make the most use of it. Basically. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking too when I was running into this issue because I'm like, man, once I get these pins down, I know all you got to do is like flatten it, add the texture on top, and then you can kind of do so many like more things with that. So I was just like, another question I guess I can ask is how do you even get that pattern? And I know I had asked you about that before, but like, you know, say I wanted to make a different kind of like shirt or a bucket hat or like something not even created. Like where, how would I figure out what kind of pattern pieces I actually need to make? Okay, hold on, I got my tiny oh, tester yeah, open. Um, that's me. I think he's cutting out a little bit <laughs> for me. Mo, you're you're going in and out. Oh sorry. Can you guys hear me now? It's you're almost like halfway like robot. Yeah. Oh no. Cutting out a lot. Okay, let me oh, now you sound good when you said on no. Okay. I feel like you sound good now. Let me see. Yep. yep, you sound good now. I sound good now? Okay. Let me see. It's not detecting my... Okay, yeah, so let me just share my entire <laughs> screen. Okay. So, let me see 
here. And there's a party going on in an hour, guys. So uh, I would definitely say try to make it um, after we kind of get this wrapped up. And then we have one more showing, but then there's a party by the VR boys, which I think is a new metaverse rap group. And it's Art Week um, here in Spatial. So they've got like a whole shebang going on. I was just looking at their YouTube too. They've got it on their YouTube live streaming right now with them setting up. But I think the main event starts in the hour that I was looking at on their discord so just so you guys know um so okay so I'm sharing my screen so I'm on clothe 3d so you see I've got my avatar here and I got my lines I got my nice position okay and then I go to this button 3d pin or under it actually right now 3d pin uh, let me see or oh, was it no it was this one To draw is the one, that one, yes. This one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh gosh, okay, see this is what kept happening too, but <laughs> I think I got it, I got my pen, well, let me see, let me see, how did I get the option? I think I had to go to one under it or something. Try going the avatar. Avatar right here? or no try to select uh i mean draw on the avatar with the one on the bottom though you you have the right now you have the selected pen uh -huh. you need the one on the bottom okay this one yeah that one click once and then go directly to your avatar oh the nice mouse. so i didn't even yeah, have to see that extra menu see pop the, up yes okay the black dot yeah, I've seen the black dot now. Okay, that's cool. When you cool. see your black dot, it's, it's good. That's good. Okay, cool. I thought you click it and then a menu pops up and you click the flattened or not flattened, but okay. So I have my black dot and then I go mm. around. Also, if you... Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? Because maybe this is where I'm getting it wrong. I have been having a little trouble getting the angle. I'm like, maybe it's... No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, oh, there's uh, the flatten one is like when you do when you have your locked in button, you mm -hmm. remember that yes. you have to lock in, and when it's yellow, then you go uh, again in the same selection tool, but select the one uh, that is hidden. I think you need to hold Let me see. once you're ready, but now it's okay. Cause let me see. So I do my dots here. Okay. Like I said, I got good at. Oh, kind of. I just said I got good at doing this angle. My practice is so many times. Going back, making it like curved. I was like, maybe my it's my oh, curved. So when you. Mm -hmm. When you do are not a very. You can with the three D view. It's easier if you zoom out and then rotate and then go in again you know because it's oh, okay. to rotate and get used to it got you but now it's okay okay now that makes sense so I'm around my neck put one in the middle kinda one in the butt kinda which I hold it then I go down I put one in there uh -oh. mm -hmm. Maybe you need one more up because it's getting more. wobbly. Okay, so one right here yeah. maybe. Like that. Okay. One right here. Oh, no, get Yeah, that part is tricky. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been trying to get one right in there. Okay, I guess that's okay. Yes. Okay. And then right here. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I believe you can go straight now. Okay, just go straight now. And so you see here, I get here though, and it doesn't turn yellow. Oh my god, wait. No, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He wasn't connecting it. <laughs> I was not connecting it. I was hovering it like, why isn't it turning yellow? What the heck is happening? Oh my gosh. It's probably your 
the view that you are eating both a lot of you close like if you're not in the right view sometimes you can you can do the right thing but because the view is not right you're not gonna no do it. seriously that that was like the first thing i spent a whole day on was like okay how do i sit here and change the view of it like why is how there's how do i zoom in zoom out <laughs> move it around that's why i'm like i know right is how to maneuver okay <laughs> i've got that one down <laughs> okay cool wow so you Actually, just click it that's exercises crazy. that you can get used to to the moving tool you know oh I, I can send you later please that would be so helpful because uh, i knew and i knew it was something little because i'm like bro i'm missing one step i make all the dots and then they never turn yellow but i had to click it and i never freaking Clicked it. That's you were doing it right. Yes. I was doing it, but I'm like, it's not turning yellow. I'm not doing it right. <laughs> oh wow! Yay. Okay, cool. So then I do have this flattened piece, and then okay, cool. Your tutorial was easy. That's why I'm like, bro. As soon as I have this line down, all I gotta do is make my lines, add the slits, add the patterns, and then it'll be your your tutorial's literally so easy to follow. I just could not get past this one step like i can't get a yellow so i don't have a pattern <laughs> well we can always go go back to it okay perfect and so with that then that's where my second question came from that you may not have heard when i was um I sounded like a robot i was saying one of the things i was really curious with when i was trying this is how what about if you weren't showing me how to make this bodysuit pattern? Like, how would I then know what lines to make in order to create that pattern? Like, maybe I wanted a bucket hat or, you know, a different kind of jacket or different things like that. How, what would you say is the best way to go and, like, find that pattern for you to use this method to create your own pattern and then add things to it from there? Yeah, unfortunately, it requires some some pattern knowledge. Uh, you can you can Google it and see if you're familiar with trying to recreate it with in clothes. Uh, most of the times, they have like measurements. So, for example, a bucket hat, I would do a circle, uh, like a flat one. No need to simulate. Just put over your your head of the avatar, and then do a a side panel which is like a rectangle basically of the same size of your of your circular pattern and basically just you just go from there basically when you have when the, the accessor accessories you don't want to simulate a lot so basically you have the main part frozen and you can just work like that accessories it works like that so but with the patterns, yeah, you can go in the library and look at it and get familiar with it. Okay. Because unfortunately, there's no, there's no easy out. <laughs> right. No, that makes sense, though. And, and I think, like you said, you know, taking that step into clo, um, practicing pattern making is one of those things that you uh you know would want to learn so that is very helpful and insightful um how is your render going do you want to share your screen again and show us the update on how that's looking and hey materia thanks for popping in here i actually had to stop the render because it was buggy oh no <laughs> I don't know, maybe she easier to upload later on discord okay yeah that would be perfect that would be a nice surprise later on then to show us how that came out later yeah, i got some it's easy because streaming is very it can very heavy <laughs> right i no. mean i'm not streaming now but it's still heavy i don't know i it's agree spatial yes yeah metaverses that's what i always have to remember like spatial is a very easy app but it is still a whole metaverse that your computer or phone has to process so i try to give my phone grace when it <laughs> yeah. starts to like starts tripping and i'm like you know i am asking it to load a whole metaverse in here so 
let me give it some grace but <laughs> wow tanya this has been such an amazing workshop i am so excited i'm gonna finish my pattern here too and definitely upload that for you all and um we're gonna make some some nfts with this stuff so if you guys have a bodysuit um, definitely, you know, get in contact. I have so many questions like, how do you put the bodysuit now on? What Could I put it on my Ready Player Me avatar? Like, what could I do that? Is that possible? Yeah, I believe so. Really? Uh, I'm not very familiar with the Ready Player Me. Mm -hmm. I think it, Ready Player Me actually covers a lot of metaverses, no? Yeah, they do. That's that's why My I like is, Ready Player Me. Yeah, how do you bring it into each one of them? <laughs> okay, that's what it is. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I'm like, if I wonder if I can change the fashion by editing the avatar somewhere in like Blender or something, and then importing it into the spaces that way. But I wasn't sure if that would work. I gotta do some more digging. But even if it wasn't Ready Player Me, like I only did that. You said they do oh, do that. <laughs> Uh, sensor. Okay. I it's the only place I it was easy to like import what your own thing, but it's not well. It's centralized it's metaverse, but you know, um, I think that the centralized always need to go by store first. Yes. Okay. Actually. That makes sense. That, that's yeah, like, a bit complex. <laughs> Maybe we should think that. <laughs> no, that makes sense though, because we were in Neos. That's the other metaverse we were building in last season, and they're um, a completely open source metaverse, and we could import any avatar in there. So we we did have a lot of like our Dash 3D avatars and our own like fashions in there, um, and that was like a lot easier to function like that. But yeah, some things to think about. So thank you for sharing. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're welcome. And also, maybe we can cover later how to translate into metaverses because actually it works differently. Yeah, exactly. So it, basically, Glow is high poly and Central Land is low poly. So you mm -hmm. basically have to redo everything. I'm right. still learning it though, but. Yeah, let me show you guys. Actually, there's this really cool gallery. One of the things I love about space, you guys already know, is the portal hopping. And if you've never seen XR Couture, I think this is their venue right here. We can portal over there because they did such a nice job doing that. Um, they have one garment that they translated in like all of the different metaverses, including AR filters. So um, to wrap up this awesome segment that Tanya put on, we'll end it with a portal hopping party over to XR Couture and um, check out there so that you can see. Cause again, that is like, you know, the next, next step. Now you've created in Clothe 3D, you've minted it as an NFT, but you want digital people to wear it too. So that's, you know, the next step or even kind of, like you said, Tanya, uh, part of the first steps when thinking and brainstorming what that purpose is for what you're creating. You know, maybe you just want it to be a piece of wall art. So it's more polygons because you want more details, but maybe you do want people wearing it in the metaverse. So you have to consider that format as well. So let's hop on over everybody. Just click the portal and travel there. Mm -hmm. Yes, everybody like the space if you haven't. Um, and then, yeah, check it out. Just like, feel free to walk walk around and explore. These are those two different outfits. Oh, awesome. Hi, Mo. Hello. I, I just discovered I was speaking with my mic off. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good also. I tried to join you uh, to stay and everything, but uh, I don't know I could.